the sanctified life, Paul's prayer for the church. In his letter to the church at Ephesus, Paul sets before them the mystery of the gospel, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 19, the unsearchable riches of Christ, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 8, and then assures them of his earnest prayers for their spiritual prosperity, I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Ephesians 3 verses 14 through 19. He writes to his Corinthian brethren also, To them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ, that in everything ye are enriched by him, in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, so that you come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 2 to 7 These words are addressed not only to the church at Corinth, but to all the people of God to the close of time. Every Christian may enjoy the blessing of sanctification. The Apostle continues in these words, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Verse 10 Paul would not have appealed to them to do that which was impossible. Unity is the sure result of Christian perfection. In the Epistle to the Colossians also are set forth the glorious privileges vouchsafed to the children of God. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love which ye have to all the saints, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom, that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might, according to his glorious power, unto all patient and long suffering with joyfulness. Colossians chapter 1, verses 4 through 11. The Sanctified Life, chapter 10. Christian Character.